So few days ago I was playing around with the after effects and then I did this. Now even I don't know what should I supposed to call this animation so if you have any suggestions then let me know in the comment section. So in this today's video we are going to create this some sort of looping animation so without wasting any more time let's get started. So as always here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition and we'll call this comp as main animation. Width, I'm going to choose 1920, height 180, frame rate is 30 and duration is 10 seconds and background color is white color and we will simply hit OK. So you will get this kind of composition as always. Choose grid and guide option and hit title safe action and then press Ctrl Y on my keyboard. So create a white background and simply hit OK. I will call this as BG and I am gonna lock this layer. Now hit Ctrl N to create another composition and for the, this one I am gonna choose width 180 and let's this comp as ball like that. Now choose ellipse and for the fill color I am gonna choose black color we don't want any stroke at least for right now. Now select this and by holding shift I am gonna create this ellipse press Ctrl Alt Home go to the align tab align it horizontally only and i'll move this over here now press p for position go to around one seconds create one keyframe go to two seconds move this over here by holding shift and go to three seconds go to the align tab and over here we'll choose align vertically like that so if you see now we'll get this kind of animation now select those keyframe hit f9 and if you see at this point we will get this kind of stuff now right click go to the kinter uh, what we call this keyframe interpolation special interpolation instead of auto bezier choose linear and then hit ok then go to the graph editor right click make sure that you are in a speed graph select this graph by holding shift move this over here and this handle over here select this last handle move this over here and move this over here so if you hit play now we'll get this kind of animation now what we will do i am going to select the shape layer i will at this point i will hit ctrl shift d and in the fill i am going to choose something like purple and hit ok and in search option search for fill and then we have to create some keyframe animation for this color so go over here inside this fill and after this bouncing I'm gonna create one keyframe over here, go over here, and again I'm gonna choose black color. Select those keyframe and hit F9. So you will get this kind of stuff. Now after that, select both the key for what we call this as layers. Hit Ctrl D, then at the top, press S for scaling option, and let's make it 120. And now we will delete the fill for both of them, and we will choose stroke and for the stroke color you are free to choose any color you want i'm gonna choose bluish color and let's make it four like that and if you see we will get this kind of animation now now uh, press u now at this point we want some bounciness over here so for that what we'll do i'll select this one and this one and press s only these options go over here at this point create one keyframe go forward and again create another keyframe on this case and in middle of it let's make it 80 and this one that's 60 select those keyframes hit f9 and select those keyframe hit f9 so we'll get this bounciness over here so if you see now we will get this kind of animation now we will go to the main animation before we import our ball we have to create some reference layers so for that i am going to choose my ellipse tool i don't want any stroke so i am going to delete the stroke over here i want fill and fill color i am going to choose red and at this point by holding shift i am going to create one ellipse this is going to be my reference layer and this time don't press ctrl alt home because we don't want that anchor point in middle of our object but we want that anchor point in middle of our composition now select this shape layer go to the add menu and choose repeater 
go to the repeater copies i'm gonna make it 10 go to the transform repeater one position let's make it zero rotation let's make it 360 divided by 10 so now this ellipse are equally distributed in our uh, what we call circle now select this ball and bring this over here as you can see we will get this kind of animation but before that press s and let's make it 50 so just choose selection tool and now we will move this over here if you want to increase the scale let's make it 70 let's say for now and move this thing over here i think we will make it 60 now hit move this proper hit ctrl d to duplicate it adjust it like that hit ctrl d to duplicate it adjust this hit ctrl d create a duplicate and move this over here hit ctrl d duplicate it and move this over here hit ctrl d to duplicate it and move this over here hit ctrl d to duplicate it and move this over here hit ctrl d to duplicate it uh, sorry for my mouse problems as always and i'm gonna move this over here hit ctrl d to duplicate it i'll move this over here hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i'll move this over here now i'm gonna delete this shape layer and go to the ball i think we can create one extra layer for example select this shapes hit ctrl d move this over here select this shapes i'm gonna choose separate color for this layer so let's say yellow and press s and go over here i'm gonna select these two layers and, and check, check out this option and let's make this around i'm gonna decrease the scale to 70 also select this layer and let's make it 70 whenever you are going to decrease the scale make sure that you are gonna select this thing all the keyframes and then you are going to manipulate the scales so it will automatically uh, arrange the scale for though all the keyframes like that now select this keyframe and fill i'm gonna choose hit go to white color select this and go choose fill color like that so if you see this animation now you will get something like this select this what we call layer hit u because we have created the what we call a color animation over here go over here and let's make this white color and now we will delete the this keyframe for the color we don't want that for this composition not composition but shape and if you see this animation now we will get something like this now there is another thing we need to do I'm gonna hit page down button two times and I'm gonna select all the 10 layers and then I'm gonna press control and open square bracket then simply all you need to do right click on this one so right click go to the keyframe assistance and sequence layers and simply hit ok and move this things over here so if you hit play now as you can see we'll get something like this now i'll move this time indicator over here alt open bracket go to the start and move those keyframes over here with the help of open bracket and as you can see we will get something like this now press p and make sure there is no keyframe over here by holding shift move all this at the center now important step right click new and create null object select on the layers and make it apparent with this null one press p for position and create one keyframe now press ctrl r to create one ruler and move this over here select this null one go um, and now play and up to 3 or let's say 3.15 maybe move this null one over here until it's gonna touch this line and now hit n and now if you hit play as you can see we will get this kind of stuff and if you want then you can simply decrease the scale of it
so we'll get this kind of looping animation and now we will hit u and i'm gonna delete this position and let's move this over here because we have decreased the scale it's not gonna in a loop so make sure that again create one keyframe at the position and go to around 3.15 frames and move this over here like that so now you will get this continuous looping animation with the help of just simple techniques so you can try this technique and use different different kind of shapes and anything you want and with the help of different different colors you can animate and create anything you want so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates until then stay tuned uh. Thank mm -hmm. you.